Hi guys, today I'm doing another video in my video series of the best Android Wear apps, and today we're taking a look at K9 for Wear. K9 for Wear is a full-featured email client for Android Wear, and it is by far, in my opinion, the best email client currently available. So you have all of your emails in this stacked notification layout, then you click on the one you want to read, you swipe over to the right, and you get the full text of the email. Not just an abbreviated portion of it, but the full text, which is so cool. You can swipe over to the right again for more options like opening on your phone, uh, replying directly from your watch, or replying from the phone, or marking as read. So very versatile, full of different functionality. And here is the coolest part. It has built-in keyboards. So here's one of the keyboard layouts that you can choose from where you kind of move the keyboard left and right and it's kind of your default computer keyboard layout. So if you're familiar with that, you won't have any problem using that keyboard. But there's a bunch of different keyboards which I'll show you in a second. You can also open the app directly on your Android Wear smartwatch so that way if you dismiss one of the email notifications, you can pull up your most recent emails again, which is really nice because I'm always dismissing notifications away, especially email notifications. And then later I'm like, oh gosh, wait, I wish I could go back and read that. And you can with this app, which is really cool. And again, you can swipe over and either use the keyboard layout or you can, of course, do voice dictation, which is always nice. You can also use the little Thunderbolt icon to use predetermined responses, and you can change these predetermined responses as well. So if you had a message you wanted to send to your wife quite often, you could go into your phone, set that as a predetermined response, which is really nice. And then I think the feature that most people are going to love the best about this is the different keyboard options. So I'm going to show you a few of them right now. Uh, here is a full keyboard that takes up the entire screen, so you just click where you want to type and then uh, you have a, this humongous keyboard for your Android Wear device and then hit enter to go back to the previous screen. Here's another keyboard layout. I can't remember the name of this one. I want to call, say it's like Flick Key or something like that. And you kind of flick your finger to the left, right, up or down, depending on which a letter you want to use in the alphabet. And then here, people who use the old dumb phones will remember this. This is the kind of the, what is it called? T9 layout. It's been a while since I've used T9, but I remember I used to be really darn fast with T9. So I think it's great to bring that back on Android Wear. And then to change keyboard layouts, you just go into the Wear settings on the app. You want to enable the keyboard. For some reason, it's not enabled by default. You have to go in and actually enable the keyboard. And then you have five different keyboard layouts to choose from. So this is amazing. I love this app. It's a dollar in the Google Play Store, and I think it is money well spent. It is my default email client for Android Wear, and I could not live without this app. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're interested in learning more about any of the apps you saw in this video, you can find their Google Play download links in the description below. I always love hearing your feedback, so leave me a comment and let me know what you thought. And finally, if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to stay up to date with the latest apps and Android Wear developments, click the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.